All right, folks, I don't know if y'all remember this. This was the houseboat. Did some videos on this right here. This is home for a little bit, so I just jacked it up, let the porch down, put it on blocks right here, sitting on a trailer. And uh, fixed to start on a uh, cabin up here. Bought a little old lot on the uh, on the river up here. Y'all see it right there. Hope y'all can see it about the back right there. Hauled a load of wood up here. Running on generator. But uh, I brought a bunch of lumber up here, the uh, floor joists, the rafters, and even the laths right there. It's some that I cut at the house. Anyway, hauled it up here, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. And just had it covered, you know. And I got out here the other day and started digging. Dug uh, pillars, gonna put eight baits in them. Uh, went ahead and put three or four sacks in every hole. And now I'm fixing to set the post right there. I've got some of the floor joists cut right there. But that's what I'm working on right now. It's gonna be 24. You see what I'm putting in the ground right here. And those are the, the, the good treatment. They're supposed to last a long time. But uh, what it's gonna be is a 24 by 28 A-frame. It's not gonna be exactly like the one I built in Kansas. It's gonna be a little bit different. Oh, it's gonna be straight up A-frame. Upstairs in it. I'm gonna try to get two bedrooms and a bath upstairs. Oh, I'm thinking we're gonna have like maybe a 15 foot wide at the, at the top, of, you know, on the second floor up there. But uh, got it by my lonesome, so uh, it's gonna take me a little bit, but hey, I'm fixing to get at it right now. I'm gonna set these posts and uh, start pouring some concrete and got to get water out of the river to do all this mixing and stuff. So it's going to take me a little bit, but uh, that's what I'm working on. It'll be a pretty place, though. It'll be nice to have a good view. I'll put a porch across the back out here, and uh, I'll try to keep y'all caught up. I'm waiting on uh, spray foam and, and all on, uh, on the house there, you know, back home before I can get back, you know, and, and get started back on trimming and cabinets and stuff like that. So I thought I'd get on up here and try to get this thing dried in while we got some decent weather. But uh, what I've done is, like I said, I'm going to set those posts on top of that, and then I'm going to pour the rest of this concrete in there with it. That'll give me a good foundation. But that's going to be a porch across the back of the A-frame. Not really decided on windows and doors and stuff like that yet exactly. I'm trying to keep it as economical as possible, which is hard to do at this point. But look at that view right there. It's going to be nice, isn't it? Yeehaw! Time to get at it. Y'all hang in there. I'll get y'all something to look at, maybe. Appreciate y'all. All right. Got the post all set yesterday. Of concrete set up. I went ahead and just filled the dirty in the holes that was left over, which wasn't very much, but uh, got them cut off this morning. Started on the floor system, putting them floor joists in. All oh, this is sawmill stuff from the house. I just brought it up here. I was listening to two turkeys gobble across the river right there this morning, so you know that kept me a little entertained. I wish I was out there hunting, but uh, I ain't got time for that right now. Anyhow, thought I'd get y'all caught up. I'll try to. Uh, Get these joys in, get y'all a, a video this afternoon, and start on plywood. I got to go get plywood and that stuff is so high right now. Everything's just out of sight. But uh, I can't cut that, so I got to buy that. Y'all hang in there. I'm going to get this thing built. All right, folks. <sighs> got the foundation in in a day. Got the floor system in, you know, the, the floor joys in. Started on the plywood yesterday. So I guess that's the third day. Oh, we've got the plywood or the decking on, and then I started cutting the components yesterday for the rafters. Got some of the rafters built this morning. It's pretty slow, you know, having to screw everything together, just making it uh, as strong as I can. Didn't have lumber long enough. You know, it's probably 26 foot span from there to there. So got a big scab there in the middle, you know, to, uh, to hold those two together. 24 foot wide. 24 feet tall. Let me tell you, that is a handful by yourself dragging them. What I'm doing is building them up there. I've got a little jig set out and some lines popped and I just lay everything out up on the deck right there, screw everything together and then just drag them off out here and then that way, uh, you know, they're not tool blocking me, not getting in the way. 
but uh, I'm gonna have to have a cherry picker or something to uh, come help me. 16 foot right there. So in the room, those are gonna be the, the ceiling joists for downstairs and the floor joists for uh -oh, upstairs. Possibly 10, I don't know, I, I had to measure it again, but I think it's about 10 foot wide room before you run into six foot on the uh, on both sides. So you're gonna have a 10, eight or 10, 12, something like that. I don't remember exactly. Room up top before you start, you know, rubbing shoulders on the, uh, on the walls, you know, on the uh, bottom side of the rafters. So pretty good bit of room up there. Enough for two bedrooms and a bath. I've got uh, four built. I've got 11 more to build. And uh, and then I'm gonna what I'm gonna try to do is get the uh, get the rafters set with a boom truck or something, and then uh, lath, and then metal, and then uh, head back home and get another load, and then uh, possibly start on. I don't know if I'll come back up here and get both gable ends done. I probably will pick up some windows and doors and then get back on uh, as soon as i get this one dried in i'll jump back on that house back home and start working on it you know getting it uh start working on cabinets and stuff so i know i'm jumping around but while i was waiting on spray foam and uh, sheetrock and all i figured i'd come up here and try to get this thing dried in and like i said this is this is a one-man crew so uh other than the boom truck it's it's gonna be uh all me i'm i'm really looking forward to putting 26 foot metal up on this steep thing by myself it's gonna be sort of tough but hey we're gonna get it hey y'all have a good one appreciate y'all